God needs my services. How dare you talk to me like that? You give me my change and let me go. Hey. Okay, I don't guess so. Look at him. Do you know me? Do you know why? Come and slap me. Then I'm leaving. Hey. Go. Hey. Go. Oh, let's be back. Go. Hey. 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 Nothing they could go. I they go look for some dropping. Oh, Charlie, what that care for all the rich old people? The family don't even know what to do. Oh, you talk about Jim Tang, eh? Eh? But, 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 but you, uh, why do you always speak vernacular? Can't you speak English? I was not speaking vernacular, mind you. I was speaking Ghana. Uh, why should I speak British when I'm in Accra? Yeah, ah. good point. All right, Charlie. I'm on now. I'll see you. Oh, Titi, Charlie, that's him not going in. Titi. Oh, Charlie, Titi. You can name him. You could give me some 500. You can go find something small job. Charlie, it's 500. This is really good. If I give you that 500, he's organizing you. Oh, Charlie, Titi. You know, baby, you can't get me in here, you know. I'm getting you only 400 more, T. The 200 low, you can tell your guy you couldn't get in the kitchen if you are now. Oh, baby! 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 Into the taxi first. Oh, what's this? You, you know very well that I planned this. This is purely first come first stage. Maybe we both stopped in at the same time, but I got inside before you. Look here, baby. It's a hot afternoon, and there's plenty of pressure around. So please don't start an argument. I'm not starting an argument. I just want the taxi. Look. After standing here for almost 30 minutes, I'm not going to get down simply because you think you stopped him first. And you know how long I've been standing? Oh, shut up. It's hey. hot. Uh, it, it, it's okay. Uh, this will not be something where you can fight over. Uh, ma madam, uh, where you they go? Didn't you hear me the first time? Uh, why you Ghanaians at all always the like answer question plus another question? Isn't that what you just did yourself? Huh? Forget it. I said I was going to La Paz. Uh, yeah, yeah. I remember. Uh, and you, sir? Same place. Where? You said same place, La Paz. <laughs> uh, this is not the case at all. Let the two of you share the money with that take you. Don't worry, I'll pay for both. Why? I'll pay my own fare, thank you. Fine. Uh, Baba, please hurry up. Uh, 
Hold on, we haven't negotiated the fair yet. Uh, just give me 10,000. 10,000? You must be crazy. 10,000 for me in my house. I mean, the last time I took a taxi from here to that woman, I paid 5000 My dear lady, if you want the same car, drop down. Go find out. But if you want to sit inside this my super deluxe taxi car, you for pay the 10000 Every car has its own parliament. So if I talk to you, say 10000 10000 let the pay a ticket. Hello, driver. I said I'll pay with or without her. So let's, let's go, right? Eh? Driver, please come in the wire. Thank you. What for? For listening to me. Well, that's okay. I believe all human beings for respect one another. You know, I really wish that was the case. But you men don't respect women at all. You think we are just some rat to be used and abused and then discarded like some old club when a new woman comes on the scene. Do you really know what you're talking about? I'm speaking from experience here, so I believe I know what I'm talking about. I believe women are the most inconsiderate human beings I've come across in my life. And as for me, my wife is not bad at all. What do you exactly mean by not bad at all? Yeah, well, she know they give me plenty of problems. How many years have you been married? Six years. And during this period, you haven't had any quarrels at all? Oh, right. Quarrels, fights. We fight too much. Tell me, what do you most often fight about? Uh, uh -huh. Like, say, you want me to make her buy something for the house, or say, make her do something for her way, and what they do then? Uh -huh. Correct. So you see my point? Well, I don't see any point to what you said earlier on. What I'm trying to say is, a woman only stays with a man depending upon what she can get from him. When another man comes around who can give her more, she will quickly pack her bags and leave. Well, that's an insult to all women. true. Oh, the same. <laughs> so it may be true. It doesn't happen in all cases. That's, that's what I'm saying. A woman will stay with a man as long as he can provide a stable home where she doesn't have to worry about money. But will be tied to you when you fall on hard times. Huh. She will mention everything you do that annoys her. Why? Because your power is gone. Look, you are just being one-sided. Huh. I know what I'm talking about. Though it may be true, though some women are only interested in a guy because he has money and some form of stability, it's not always the case. But honesty and truth are also very important. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'm, I'm presently in a relationship with a married man, okay? When when I, I first met this guy, he wasn't what I call rich. I mean, I know guys with money, okay? But I'm not interested in the relationship for the sake of money. <laughs> I've never been an economic prostitute, and I never will be. You know, I really liked him because he could make me laugh. He really could, and I cared about him. And though I knew he was lying when he told me that he was going to divorce his wife, I stuck to him because I thought he cared about me. Now, listen to what I heard about I go. He's having a relationship with a new secretary in his office. After I had gone out with him for almost three years, he still feels the need for another woman because she's younger than me. Do you know how it feels like to be the mistress of a married man? <laughs> 